Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon, I'm an acting and performing coach and today I'm going to be reacting to Morgan James with postmodern jukebox singing Dream On. I'm gonna do something a little bit different for the intro today, so get ready. Here we go. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave me a comment down below. Social media links are in the description as well as other links. Join the Patreon, join the Discord, reach out to me on Twitter, and let's get into the video. I have heard a couple of things by, I've heard something by Postmodern Jukebox. I can't tell you exactly what off the top of my head. No advertisements. Love the orchestra. I don't know this person. I've never heard them sing before. Every time I look in the mirror, Love the vibe. All these lines on Ooh. my face getting clearer. That little fry on set, so, so sexy. The past is gone. Ooh. Now that So I just, I like, I knew what the song was, but I got lost in the aesthetic. I got lost in like the instrumentation. I got lost in her entrance and in her voice. And I completely forgot that we were, that we were listening to dream on for about the first, I don't know, 40 seconds of this song. She's doing a fabulous job. I'm loving all the color and the inflection and all the personality, the person, I'm sorry, can I talk today? All the personality that she's putting into the, into the song. I love the sort of smoky, uh, like a nightlife lounge feel that we're getting. I think that's amazing. It is very different. It's a very different interpretation of the song. I love that. The little vocal fries and things that she's doing are, are really adding a lot of color to the song. And I think really that little, that quick ascent that happened was so impressive. I thought that was so beautiful. I'm going to go back and hear that little ascent one more time. The past is gone. <laughs> That is so good. Black dusk to dawn. Look at her feeling it too. Look at the interpretation. Isn't that the way? Everybody's got their tools. Digging into it. Digging into it. Digging into it. And then she pulled in just enough. Just enough. I would have probably liked to have heard a little more vibrato on that, but that's not a critique. That's just a personal preference. Uh, and and it sounded amazing, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I know nobody knows where it comes or where it goes. The song is iconic. Oh, it's everybody's sin. You got to lose to know how to win. The dynamics are insane too in her voice. Growing and, and pulling back and, and exploding and then pulling back and she's just doing a great job of keeping us interested and pulling us in. Half my life's in books written pages Lived and learned from fools and from sages You know it's true Come on, tell him, tell him. Here it comes. Sing with me, sing for Whoa. me. Sing for the laughter, sing for the cheer. Sing with me just for the day. Maybe tomorrow the good love take you away. Uh, nice. I'm getting very excited. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. That's great, man. That's, that, was, that was so good. The best thing I think about this particular performance, at least to me, the thing that I'm noticing the most is that it's not flashy. It doesn't have to be flashy. When you have such an amazing piece to work with and the, the lyrics are so uh, uh, deep and powerful and you have 
this setup and you've got this style, you 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 have all this working for you. You don't need a bunch of acrobatics and to like show a bunch of things off. You can really just settle down in the melody and just let it live, just let it breathe. And she is doing an amazing job at that. And it takes a special kind of artist to recognize that I can shine without just trying everything all the time. I can just let this happen and it will be amazing because the song's amazing, the band's amazing, and yes, I am amazing too. And that's all it takes. And so I'm really I'm really loving the simplicity of this. She's not just living in the original melody, she is adding her own color. She's adding some modulation and she's 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 just finding different melodic lines to dance through this song, which is great. But she's just not doing too much. And I think that's great, too. Listen to those live instruments. Get it, man. Ooh. All those little imperfections. Perfect. Dynamics. Sing with me, sing for the year, sing for the laughter, sing for the tears. Look at the performance. With me, just for the day, maybe tomorrow, the good Lord take you away. Oh, open, all the way open. Oh, I'm, I, I'm so excited to see what she does. Ooh. <laughs> I'm getting chills. Sing with me if just for today. Maybe tomorrow the good Lord will take you away. Don't worry, we're going to go back. I'm going to go back. So she did. She finally found a place to really throw in a lot of color and a lot of flair. And that's that's great. Now, I don't want it to be misunderstood. I love that she kept it very clean and very straight laced for the majority of the song. I mean, you can start off at 10 and carry a 10 the whole way through, but we're all in it for the journey. We're looking for the change. We're looking for the 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 the, the fluctuation. We're looking for the pitch, the key change. We're looking for something new and different every every you know it's just it's just how we enjoy things if it wasn't then people could just sing in one note and sing an entire song on the same note that's not how music works that's not how our minds work and she does an amazing job of of like just using dynamics using phrasing to color the song when she isn't using all of those uh tricks and acrobatics and all that agility but then she hits the end she hits that climax, and you know it's hard to match uh, Steven Tyler's power, right? In, in those kinds of moments, he is—he's uh, a beast. So rather than compete on that level, what it felt like was that she she took this a whole different way and made that part really hers because she was very true to the melody through most of the song. But right there, she really branched off. She really individualized it, and I thought it worked really well for her. Sing with me if just for today. Maybe look at her perform. The good Lord will take you away. Look at her face. Look at her body. She's completely owning this performance. Totally in it. I'm so impressed. 
Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's not going to work on me. Okay, it kind of worked on me a little bit. That's not the point. Okay, I'm going to pause right there. I'm going to leave that up because for just a minute because I think that it's important. Look at all these people who worked on this. They all did an amazing job. That was great. Okay, that was, I almost said Voctive. That was not Voctive. That was Postmodern Jukebox with Morgan James. All of these wonderful people that we saw uh, listed uh, on their instruments doing such an amazing job. It was a great performance. I really loved it. I enjoyed it. Her her performance was impassioned. It was genuine. It, was, it wasn't over rehearsed. Uh, nothing felt performative. Nothing felt overly planned or, or structured. She didn't get too big with it when it was not necessary. She only she had that one moment when she really kind of just like branched out and 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 opened up, and it was perfectly in tune with sort of the message, the the, the path, the arc that the story of the song was taking us on. It was just interpretively speaking, it was just wonderfully done. I don't know if it was somebody who planned this, you know, who worked with her like as in a director or someone who who like led her through. And this is what we want. This is what we're looking for. This is where we want it to go because obviously you're working with that many musicians. Everybody has to be on the same page when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I don't know if that happened or if it was all her physicality and her performance and she just fed off what the instruments gave her, uh, what the musicians gave her, I should say. I don't know how it worked out, but however it did it, that whoever was behind it is a genius and every single one of them is now incredibly talented for having put it together and pulled it together the way that, that they did. Okay, so thank you so much for coming on this ride with me. I appreciate you being here. I'm trying to get these videos out quicker, so I'm doing a, a truncated intro, a truncated outro. We're just gonna get it done. So if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. All my socials are in the description. Other links are also in the description. Join the Patreon, join the Discord, more music, polls, all the things. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, be kind to each other. And most importantly, be kind to yourself.